Hey up everybody and welcome back to the Just The Driven YouTube channel. My name is Josh and today you join me in Wales where we're going to be testing the Goodyear Eagle F1 Supersport on the Evo Triangle. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. So guys, as you've just heard from that little bit of an intro there, we are here in lovely Wales. Um, we're actually in the Snowdonian National Park staying over tonight. Um, and I'm lucky enough to do this thank you to Goodyear and Pitbox91 for allowing me to come out and test these Eagle F1 Supersport tyres in an absolutely epic place as North Wales and the Evo Triangle. I really, really cannot wait to, um, to get started with this. So we travelled here this morning. There's a bit of traffic all the way over. It's been a bit rainy, been a bit dreary. It's actually a little bit grey outside as well. But we're here to test these tyres. Now I picked the Evo Triangle because it's a legendary road, a lot of people know about it and it's only a couple of hours from home. So in today's video we're going to be taking the M240i up towards the Evo Triangle, having a bit of a drive around to and from and maybe some other roads around there as well just to see what these tyres are like on normal roads. Of course in the last video we tested them out on track at the Donington GP circuit which I absolutely loved by the way, I couldn't get enough of that. And in addition to that, the car actually performed exceptionally well, uh, much better than I anticipated, and the tires were just absolutely fantastic. Considering these are what Goodyear describe as 80% road and 20% track tires, they did a fantastic job and definitely kept the car in check. So I'm hoping for as good as a review today as we got the other day. Um, I have been driving on these tires for 1200 miles now. Uh, most of it's just commuting back and forwards from work and I have no qualms. Uh, we tested them on the M2 competition, you may have seen that on my YouTube channel previously, coming up to a year and a half ago now. And in that video, there was torrential rain. I could still put a sensible amount of power down. So yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna start driving over to the Evo Triangle and I will catch it with you guys once we get to them legendary roads. Okay, so this is actually our second journey towards the Evo Triangle, the first time this happened. And it's just my luck that this down weather. So the weather was absolutely terrible. And when I mean terrible, it was torrential rain. There was uh, clouds everywhere. I couldn't see a damn thing. There were people driving around with no lights on, people taking dogs for a walk. So it wasn't ideal for a YouTube video. Okay, so for a lot of that journey, we stood behind a camp van that wanted to do 15 mile an hour around corners. But we've cleared that now and we are approaching within a couple of miles of the Evo Triangle. Now I think now is a good time to start talking to you guys about my experience with the Goodyear Eagle F1 Supersports. I've been running these tyres for approximately 1200 miles now and I switched over from the Michelin Pilot Sport 4s. Now I had an opportunity to test these tyres a couple of years ago now when I was lucky enough for Goodyear to lend me their Demonstrator M2 competition. Um, when I went to go test that it was also a torrential rainfall similar to what I showed you earlier on in the video when we came out three hours ago to do this exact video and I got onto the Evo Triangle and the heavens opened. So I was very impressed by that tyre back then and I'm very lucky to have been given another opportunity to test this and I'm very very happy with it. It gives you so much cornering stability, so much cornering confidence and that's down to the harder shoulders. Now where the Michelin Pilot Sport 4 specifically started to fail a little bit for me was when you were on a fairly sweeping long tight-ish bend where the Michelin just started to lean on the the shoulder a little bit and I'm talking about you know we've got the exact same PSI's in they're a similar temperature so there's no real excuse for it whereas the Goodyear's hold up a lot better in that respect and it was especially noticeable at Donington around the first corners the crane curves and sort of going up past the, the old hairpin. Just how much confidence that these tyres give me. Because at no point did I think that the tyres were going to give up. You know, you could hear the tyres, they give you really, really good feedback. And whenever I felt that there is an opportunity for them to slide a little bit, the tyres have communicated that through the steering. And now we are just approaching the Evo Triangle. We're just going to take a turn a left onto the A543. And I must admit, it looks a lot brighter than it was earlier on today. And a lot drier than it was earlier on today as well, which is good. 
we just have to watch out for the average speed cameras but it is national speed limit so you can still have a little bit of fun now why did i pick the evo triangle well in my opinion the evo triangle should be up there on any uk automotive enthusiast bucket list along with things like the Stelvio Pass, the Nürburgring Nordschleife and the NC500. It just so happens that this is the most accessible and the easiest for me to get to, hence why we are here today and ticking one off that list. Now, I do have a bit of experience with driving on here, I didn't early today, but it wasn't the greatest given the, the weather conditions. But even so, the Goodyear Eagle F1 Supersports held up very, very well. And we were putting some decent power down in first, second and third gear with no spin, no traction control light, which is very, very good. And even on them small, tight corners like that one there, it just incites so much confidence in you. And I don't want to feel like I'm telling you to suck eggs, but, you know, I was in a position before where I thought Michelin was the best. Michelin was the tyre that I was always going to go for. My Fiesta ST had Michelins, my GT86 had Michelins, my Golf R had Michelins, my Focus STs both had Michelins. Pretty much every car that I've owned has got Michelins, Match of the Pilot Sport 4, Super Sports, or something of that variety. Now, when I was given the opportunity to test these tyres, I was a bit sceptical, and I, I explained this to Pitbox91 whilst we were at Donington the other day, that I didn't know just how much of a difference could be made between two tyre manufacturers at the top of their game. You know, and I've been pleasantly surprised. Goodyear have genuinely come up with a fantastic product that is exceptional at what it needs to do, which is keep you on the road and give you the best driving experience possible. You know, their motto, ooh, the sheep on the road. <laughs> uh, their motto is all about starting something brilliant now. And these tires really epitomize what that means. And I don't mean to be cheesy, but every opportunity I've had to go out, barring the day-to-day the -day commute and the toing and froing from the shops and back, um, They've always put a smile on my face. Okay, so we've found a spot to pull up. It's actually outside the Sportsman Arms, which is actually for sale if anyone's interested. It's quite a nice place. We are in the middle of nowhere. Of course, we've got the car just here, which is performing spectacularly. We've got the Goodyear Eagle F1 Super Sports on there, which, bellissimo, absolutely brilliant. Can't ask for anything else in a tyre. Another than going into something a bit more aggressive like a, an S2R or an Ankang AR1 or a Cup 2 or something more track focused than road focused, you can't get better than that for the road. I mean look, we've even got some sheep that are all running away at the sound of my voice. Just take it in. It's just a lovely place to be really, isn't it? even better when you're driving that. You know what, I don't know if you guys can see that behind me, but the sun's starting to come out and it's just made everything 100 times better. You know, I've been up here twice now and I, <laughs> twice it's rained and finally, we've actually got some sunshine. This is exactly what I wanted to see. I mean, that view, it's just ridiculous. I mean, the car's absolutely filthy now, and I, do you know what, I don't care, because I've had so much fun driving up here, and even just standing out, just then looking at the sheep, looking around, it's just a very nice, serene place to be. There's just not a lot going on, it's very quiet, it's very relaxing, and yeah, it's, you can't really ask for any more. I can completely see why people do this all the time. Okay, so for the vast majority of the route back down would be stuck behind a Peugeot doing 25 miles an hour all the way down. Um, but I'm gonna have to keep this one short and sweet because both of my GoPros are on low battery at the moment. So let me just close this window. So, the Goodyear Eagle F1 Super Sport. In a nutshell, would I buy them? Yes. Would I buy them over the Michelin Pilot Sport 4s? Also, yes. Would I buy them over the Michelin Pilot Super Sports? Definitely. Now, these tyres are really coming in to, to shake up the, the sort of high performance road tyre slash some track use um, segment. 
Now I know that the Mitchell Pilot Sport 5 have just been released, I haven't had a chance to test them yet. Um, however, I imagine there won't be too much difference between the Pilot Sport 4s and the Pilot Sport 5s. But in essence, the Goodyear Eagle F1 Super Sport is definitely a tyre that you should try. Uh, take it from me, you know, I, I know I've I, I, I know I've had the opportunity to test them, I know Goodyear gave me their M2 competition, I know they took me to Donington, I know they've provided for this road trip that we're on at the moment, but genuinely, genuinely impressed. And all the reviews that I've given to Pitbox 91 and to Goodyear themselves um, have always been positive. And I wouldn't genuinely choose a PS4 over, over this tyre. The only caveat to that I would say is cost. You know, a lot of you guys know that you can go on black circles, you can go on tyres on the drive, on whoever, you know, all these other companies who do something similar to them, um, and get some good deals. You know, sometimes you get £20 off two, you get £40 off four, um, whereas I don't tend to see Goodyear on them list. Now, there's probably a good reason why, um, uh, but a reason that I'm, I'm not aware of, nonetheless. But regardless, if money was no object and both of these tyres were put in front of me, I would, without a shadow of a doubt, pick these ones. And again, I, I don't want to feel like I'm, I'm overselling it to you guys because I'm trying to be as genuine as possible. I'm trying to just give you as much information as I can to help you decide whatever you want to do with your tyres in the future. But take it from me, if you do try them, let me know and I guarantee you won't be disappointed. I really, really do. Um, and I think that's a very, very good point to end the video as a very old car has just gone past us. So thank you so much for watching. As always, you can check out all the social media links down at the bottom here. Uh, keep an eye out for our future videos. If you haven't already seen the Donington track test, go see that. I'll leave a link somewhere down in the video, or it might even be at the end, and it will also be in the description as well. So I will catch you in the next one.